With Atrix e-filing services, completing year-end W-2 filing has never been simpler. Download Atrix's free software and walk through our guided step-by-step -step process. Click e-file and you're done. It's that easy. Welcome, and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to complete your W-2 e-filing using the Atrix ACA W-2 1099 Preparer. Once you've downloaded the free software, simply select the form that you want to file, in this case, the W-2. The first thing you'll need to do is to import your W-2 employee data. You can do this one of two ways. You can use an EFW-2 file if your software produces one, or most commonly you will use a CSV file. Atrix does provide a template for you to use to make this process simple. Simply import the file that you need and click Next. You'll now see the Atrix W-2 importer that allows you to map the fields from your CSV file directly to the W-2 form. It's as simple as selecting the column head, for example, the last name of the employee, and dragging it to the appropriate box. Once the box turns green, the data has been linked, and you simply move Mapping Complete. You'll have the opportunity to save this template if you have more than one company that you would be importing for that has the same construct of data. You can save this as a template, so this process only needs to be done once. You have the opportunity to test drive this process at any time. You can do that with the first 25 employees of your file or your entire file. This allows you to get comfortable with the software before doing the actual filing. We're going to verify your company EIN to make sure it's correct. We're going to ask you if you have multiple files for the same EIN. If you have multiple locations with separate payroll data, you can simply complete those one at a time and merge them at the end of the process. You'll then verify your company information. This is important because this will be the return address on the documents that are sent to your employees. The IRS will want to know whether you're filing for your own company or if you are a third-party preparer. If you are a third-party tax preparer, you'll have a couple extra questions to answer. The IRS simply wants to know who you are. This is to verify your tax ID numbers this is so that we have the appropriate information in order to make the filings on your behalf. The first new item for 2020 is you will need to identify if you have any employees who are exempt from any part of their Medicare or Social Security taxes or who are deferring Social Security taxes under the CARES Act. We'll need to know if you have many members of the clergy. You can select to use control numbers. And then we need to know if you have any employees who have elected to receive W-2 forms electronically. Since we indicated that we have uh, employees who are not subject to Medicare or Social Security, we need to know if you have any tribal council members subject to Revenue Ruling 59-354. We'll need to identify what type of taxpayer you are. In most cases, you'll be a 941 filer. We'll need to identify whether or not you have third-party sick pay. We'll need to know if you have an establishment number and or if you have other EINs used for this business this year. You have the option to truncate Social Security numbers. Simply choose the method you prefer and move forward. Your employee data has now been loaded into the Atrix grid. It looks like a spreadsheet. It acts like a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet. Simply begin to verify the information that you have loaded to make sure that it is correct. We'll start with verifying the employee information. You can see that it is highlighted in blue. All of these fields are editable. Simply make certain that the information is correct and click Next. If you have individuals who have elected to receive their W-2s electronically, you'll have to provide an email address and make sure that all of the appropriate boxes are clicked. The first box information that you'll verify is the federal information, federal wages, social security wages, Medicare wages, and the amounts withheld. Next will be state information. We're filing for one state, so we simply have two columns, wages, and the amount withheld. You'll notice that there are totals at the top of each column. This allows you to verify those column totals from the support information you may have. We put it at the top simply because if you have a large number of employees, you don't have to scroll to the bottom in order to see those totals. Once you've verified your data, You'll simply select the level of service you're looking for. Uh, the best practice is obviously the complete W-2 e-filing service. 
We will print and mail your employee copies as soon as the next business day. We'll make sure that your EW2 only copies are posted and made available to your employees. We'll file your Fed W2s and W3. We'll file all state W2s and reconciliation forms required. And we do all of this for $1.99 an employee. In this case, we only have two employees for our demo, so the minimum applies, which is $24.95. You may choose to purchase a PDF archive of your W-2s. This will be delivered to you on a flash drive, can be stored in a fire safe or off-premise. You do have access to all of your W-2s in a history file that is stored on your local server or machine. You'll want to verify that you're filing for all of the states. In this case, to make things simple, we filed in one state. This is a list of exactly what Atrix will do for you. In this case, we are going to file your federal W-2s and your W-3. We're going to e-file the North Dakota W-2s. We're going to prepare and mail your employee W-2s and host them online. And we'll give you the opportunity to print employer copies if you choose to do so. The final steps before we submit your filing is to go ahead and preview all of the forms as they will appear when they are mailed or filed. The first is the employer W-2. You'll see that it's a four up form. You can choose to preview some or all of those forms. Next is the federal W-2. You'll see that this is a two up form. And again, you can review all of them or just part of them. The federal W-3 gives you the opportunity to review those totals one last time. You do see that there's no color on these forms. That is because you have already verified this information in the grid process. If any changes need to be made after this process, you'll have to go back. The North Dakota W-2s, again, a four up form, review and move forward. Once you've verified all of your data and reviewed the forms, you'll then log in to the Atrix Secure e-file process. You'll do this with the credentials you created at efile.atrix.com when you enrolled. We're going to review your enrollment information, company EIN, contact person. You have the opportunity to make your W-2s available to your employees to upload directly into H&R Block, Intuit, or Tax Act. Simply click Yes to add this feature. We're going to review the pricing information. Again, in this case, it was a minimum filing, so it would be $24.95. Ordinarily, again, only $1.99 for all of the features Atrix e-file process provides. If you are required to file ACA 1095s as well, you may want to take advantage of the opportunity to save up to 50% on your ACA reporting. Atrix can provide this service by offering you the complete ACA Affordable Care Act filing along with the W-2 complete service. If you choose to take advantage of this, your ACA filings will be printed and mailed in the same mailing as your W-2s and are done. <clears throat> and this is done at $0.99 cents an employee, a considerable savings. If you click Yes, you'll select a date out far enough that gives you time to go ahead and complete your ACA filings and Atrix will take care of the rest and file them forward both at the same time and saving you a significant amount of money. If you are not required to file ACA or you simply choose to handle that separately at a later date, this is your opportunity to set the dates that you want copies mailed to your employees, when you want your federal W-2s and W-3s filed, and when you would like your W-2s and W-3s for state filings filed. We will require a credit card in order to pay for the filing. We're going to verify your company address and mailing address to send you that PDF archive on a flash drive. And one last confirmation of all of the information. The name of the company, the form you are filing, your company EIN, mailing address, and the cost of the filing. Once you submit the filing, you will receive an AFID number. This is an Atrix filing identification number. Uh, it will be sent to you at the email that you have provided during enrollment. And it is also available to you at efile.atrix.com at any time. It's an important number because if you call for support or have any questions about your filing, we'll need this number in order to identify the exact filing. That's just how simple it is to complete your W-2 e-filing using the Atrix W-2 e-filing process.